You know, a lot of days I just don't know what to paint. And I just show up at work. I do a feelings check. I go, how am I feeling? And then I start there. And sometimes I don't even know how I'm feeling. That's how disconnected I am from my emotions. So in that case, I just fake it. You know, the way most of us do. How are you doing? Great, fine. Am I great? Am I fine? I don't know. So we'll start with the most iconic universal symbol for joy and happiness, a happy face, right? Is that how I'm feeling today? I don't know, let's find out. So there's that, you know, it, it is weird if you look at it, here's a happy face, uh, which emotes the emotions of joy, happiness, exuberance. Well, let's, let's keep going. Once I can identify or at least fake how I'm feeling, then I go to, what color am I feeling? Am I feeling, I feel a little orange today. So I add some orange. And then as I look at this, another emotion comes up, which is, this is a lie, because I'm not feeling that. I'm, I'm feeling very <sighs> frazzled and annoyed and frustrated. So this, this is not working for me. So I start to blot that out. I'm excited right now. Why am I excited? Because I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit scared. And I don't know what's gonna happen with this painting. And it's always a strange experience to paint on camera because you don't know what's going to happen. I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind of like a trickster today, a little bit mischievous, a little bit immature. And I like it. And some of you are very immature. I asked you what I should paint and it's like all fart and flatulence and toilet humor. And I like it. So here we go. I'm feeling some pinks. I'm feeling some greens. Where are you going with this? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. So you just go. And sometimes I just don't even like white paper, so I just like start blotting that out, right? Let's just, let's start with that, okay? When you're lost, let's just, let's just get, get, get it grounded and just, let's get a background going, huh? Well, you call that a background? Well, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It is what it is. There's a sky. Well, if that's the sky, well, is that the grass? Why is the well? Sometimes you feel a little feel upside down. This is if this is your impression of doing like a Bob Ross thing, it's going horribly. Well, that's not a good attitude to have. Here's a little, a little beautiful tree. Here's another little beautiful tree. Wow, Dave, you really don't know how to draw. I I actually do. I'm really a good artist, and I don't appreciate that kind of negative self talk. You know, we could play this game. I could tell you why you suck at art, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh, you do want me to tell you? Okay, let's get into it. Dave, please tell me why you think my art sucks. Well, I don't think your art sucks. I know it sucks. It's really bad. Well, that's not a positive. No shit, Sherlock. Your art's not that great either, Dave. Well, you don't think I know that? Of course I know that. But we're not talking about me right now. We're talking about you. And I'm telling you why your art is dog shit and horrible. But it doesn't have to be. Well, can you please enlighten us then, master, teacher? Why you think our art looks so horrible? Well, the reason why your art sucks is because you kind of suck. Sorry, I had to say it. The reason why your art sucks is because you're kind of a pussy. Wow, really coming in with the negativity today. Well, look, this is what I need to say, okay? Like, if you're an artist and you're watching this right now, then, and when I say art, it's like whatever, whatever your art is, ballet dancing, ceramics, making plates, painting, music, designing logos or cars or I don't know. I don't know what your art is and you have become well known in your community and your friends that that's what you do and that's what you're known as, right? You don't think I know this looks like shit right now? You don't think I know that? You don't think I'm not aware of how horrible this looks? Well, guess what? It's the best drawing I've ever done in my life. Because I don't care. I'm free and I'm expressing myself. And whatever's coming up, I'm not judging it and I'm just letting it happen. Can you say the same? I don't think so. And that's why your art sucks. Because when you create, you're constantly judging yourself. Is this good? Is this good? Is this good? And your ego is attached to it. And then you start getting scared because you already know what you already know. You don't know what you don't know. When I know, then I know. When I don't know, then I don't know. You already know what you already know. Muscle memory, technique, proficiency, whatever you want to call it, you already know that.
but there's another side of you that you're scared of, that you get a little bit nervous. And by doing that, you may look like a damn fool. You may look like a damn fool when you go there because you don't know how to do that. And by taking that chance, by taking that risk, you may fail. You probably will fail. But only by taking that leap can you grow. So if you're listening to this today and, you're, and you just got this on in the background and you're like, I'm about to get into some shit, but I'm a little bit nervous, good. Harness that nervousness and go with it. What do you mean? There's something in your art, in your craft, that you can do today that you've never done before. And by doing it, you may ruin your car. You may ruin the painting. You may ruin that glass. You may ruin that dish. But by doing that, you're gonna challenge yourself and you're gonna put yourself out there today. I already know how to draw an eye. Easy for me, easy work. This is easy. I don't even have to look while I do this. I already know how to draw an eye. I could draw a nose, there it is. I could draw another eye, there it is. Easy. This is nothing for me. But what if I put an eye here? What if I put the mouth here? What if I put another nose here? Did I ruin the painting or did I just make it better? It doesn't matter. You gotta separate from good, the worst, why it sucks, it's the best. We want, we want to get past that today and have it just be. The art of art making, mark making, whatever it is, it's not good, it's not bad. Well, you can't do that with food, Dave. People gotta eat it. What if I just do what you're doing with food and then I create poison and someone dies? Well, don't eat it then. I'm just talking about in this kind of situation where it's not life or death, we just make beautiful art, right? You just make a circle. That's the other thing. You don't want to make a shape. Everybody knows how to make a circle. Sometimes it's, you don't know what to do. And you just start ma making a shape. Right? Just start making a sick shape. And then try not to think too much. How many of you out there have gone skydiving, right? It's a parachute, right? You're not going to die. Well, I guess some people do die, but most of you are not going to die, right? So. If you just think about it like that, just think about it like that. Today, take a leap for nobody else but yourself. Take a leap and jump out that, jump out that window and see what happens. See what, see what comes up, see what you feel. Then when you take that big shot, that big chance, right? Everyone here took that shot, right? But at some point, everyone in here has to take some kind of a leap of faith when they ask someone out, when they say, I think I'm good enough to try. Like, you know how much courage it takes to take a piece of paper or canvas and hang it on the wall and say, look at what I did. Look at what's inside me, right? So that takes courage. So today I want you to harness that same courage that you had once. Now that you're not set in your ways, I want you to take that chance, not for me, not because I'm telling you, but just because you care about yourself and your growth, not just as an artist, but as a human being. And you wanna see yourself grow, right? And take that shot, take that chance, 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 and see what happens. I mean, and even what I'm doing right now, it's not the most natural, comfortable thing to be talking while drawing. I like to focus on one thing at a time as, as we all know, there's no real such thing as multitasking, right? Something's gonna suffer. If I was sitting and just talking to you, then that's more powerful, for me at least, than to, to talk while drawing something. So something's gotta give. But right now, this is the choice I'm making for myself. And whatever is happening right now, just moving these pigments around, you know, it's always a bold move to start introducing the color black into something because it it's overpowers everything. But this now is a more accurate depiction of how I'm feeling inside today, which is not that happy. I mean, the, the, and, the, and, the, and the healing thing here is I'm never gonna hang this painting on the wall. And you guys already know I'll probably rip this up after I'm done. But by accurately depicting how I'm feeling through the, just the motion of mark making and creating shapes and using colors, I already feel better. 
So actually, this is a lie now because this is how I felt at the beginning of this, but this is actually not how I feel now. Actually, I actually now I do feel happy. And so, this is how I feel now. Cha cha!